Hello everyone and welcome back, I'm Pirate Master Murdoch and in today's video we're going to be going over Ship Logs 13. So let's jump straight into it. Alright, Ship Logs 13. This is the biggest update we've ever had in Pirate Nation. That's right, the world bosses are out. The three of them are here. There's Jormonger, which is the Sea Serpent, Bruce the Megalodon, and Urza the Kraken. All three of these world bosses are now out and we can fight them. So let's look at the updates in the game. First, the world bosses. You can get to them by selecting the world boss totem, which we'll get to in just a second. Next, the pirate affinities have been updated and will appear on the world bosses setup menu. And there will also be available on your pirates. You'll be able to see that in just a second. There has been some fixes to the voxel pirates who are appearing with pink textures, which just means a little bit of an update on a few people's uh, voxel pirates, which is really awesome. The search is no longer case sensitive, so when you're searching for items or quests, it's no longer case sensitive. They fixed an issue that prevented founders' chest loot tables from dropping their full set of loot. So no more whoopsie chests for you. We'll see about that. I mean, we have the platinum chest coming and we'll get into that. On the web, check your and your fellow players' progress against the world bosses on the world boss event page. That's something we're going to be looking at in just a second. And also, a new section for achievements is now available. We do not know what this is going to mean, but there's definitely going to be something cool coming. Now for some bugs. There's uh, some boss battle sound effects and musics that are kind of a, a little iffy right now. So sometimes the music will still play with the audio disabled in settings and also the filtering by quest by avail available does not work. So on your island you're going to want to head over to this giant totem. I'll zoom out so you can see where it is. It's right, right over here, kind of like the bottom left of your, uh, of your island. And this one right here is where you can go and battle the world bosses. I currently have a cooldown because I live streamed my first ever world boss fight, which is on my Twitch, which is Master Murdoch on Twitch. So you can go check that out. So normally you would just click on this and it would bring up a boss fight selection and you just kind of follow the prompts and you'll pick your pirate and pick your ship and then you'll go off to battle, which is super awesome. And we'll get more into that in the next video. All right, so if you look up at my pirate up here, my gold pirate, first thing you'll notice is there's two little things up here. So the first one here is your affinity. So my gold pirate here has a lightning affinity and its expertise ID is for damage. And then if you look at my next one, you can see the, this pirate has a fire affinity and a health expertise ID. And you can kind of look at all of your pirates and they'll tell you which one you have. And this is really important because you're going to want the right affinity that counters the world boss. And we'll get into that in another video because it's a very complex thing and there's, there's a lot of stuff involved with that. But for now, let's just go jump and look at the world bosses. So if you click up on the events up here, it'll bring you up to the world boss events, which you can click here and see a little intro trailer. And then down here, you can also see there is a timer for how long the world bosses are here for, which we only have about six, six days and 16 hours left, which means we get approximately one week to defeat a world boss. Next, if you scroll down more, you can see the three world bosses and their current health. Currently, everyone seems to be going after the Megalodon Bruce, and with majority of the holders already completing their first battle and only 8% damage has been done, it is going to be a very, very, very close one to see if we can beat the Megalodon Bruce. And I highly suggest that instead of, we ta instead of attacking the other world bosses, we focus on Bruce, just because we need to beat at least one of them. A cool thing about the world bosses is whoever deals the final blow is going to get this special one of one NFT. And then also everyone who participates will at least get these rewards. And then down here you can see the leaderboards for the top damage dealers. Another thing that can be found 
in this update is if you go to the hold and own section here where you can claim your chest, you'll notice that the platinum chest is now seeable on this screen, which means we'll be able to claim at least one more chest, maybe a second one if they do an oopsie like we've seen before. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you click on this totem and do your world boss fight and fight the Megalodon shark. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yarrrr!